uh, you've got the Australian circle, Sky Nicholson. I'm hopeful. She's a Commonwealth Games gold medalist. She just she can't run into uh, Lin Yuting from Chinese Taipei. You know, Yuting's beaten her the previous two times they met comprehensively. Just awkward. You know, she's actually the current gold medalist at the World Championships. I think that should have to be a favourite. Like I said, Nesty Patesio from the Philippines. Another one, you know, highly talented fighter, Michaela Walsh from Ireland, Irma Testa from Italy. It's a really solid division. Then you've got Senna Iri from, uh, uh, from Japan, all action style. It's a really, really good weight class. Interesting one of note here, Ramla Ali, 2 and as a professional, huge profile, uh, first ever Somali female Olympic boxer. So I think she's that, like a she has like a talent, business job, you know, right? Yeah, that's correct. And she also works. I want to say she's with IMG, but I could be wrong. But she's with an international modeling firm. That I know. She signed with uh, two five eight management. So Joshua's management already in the pros. When we talk about a fighter that can move the needle, I mean, look, Ramla just walking out and representing Somalia is going to inspire many young women out of Somalia or Somalis around the world to better themselves, to take this pathway maybe to boxing, to being competitive athletes, whatever it may be. If she manages to win a medal, you can just imagine what kind of narrative that's going to come out of that. So, you know, for me, I'll definitely be rooting for her. You know, she's got an incredible backstory, very humble athlete. I think it's a, it's a great weight class too. And then we'll just finish up on uh, 51, so flyweight think that you know like you said another another good uh, another good weight class potentially for United States I'm not going to say the name because I'm going to mess it up but Ginny I think you can say Ginny's name 